Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do the next 48 hours, what's happening for you? What's the energy around you? Keep in mind, this is general collective, only take what resonates with the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Let's take a look at Aries. What is the energy around Aries the next 48 hours? Ooh, you're about to get an offer? Okay, what kind of offer? Ooh, you're getting a romantic offer. Okay, so somebody is wanting to potentially suggest some type of, I'm just seeing the two of cups, look at that. You may have somebody that is romantically giving you an offer. They're maybe gonna propose to you. This could be a soulmate. Let's find out here. This is about to be revealed to you. You're getting an offer of commitment in the next 48 hours. So let's see here. Aries. Five of cups, nine of cups, the strength. Okay, so this is a situation where you maybe left this person in the past. You said you couldn't do it no more. You departed. You said, you know what? I'm going to focus on my own happiness. I'm going to go elsewhere. Well, it looks like it could be a Leo you're dealing with. They're coming back with an opportunity to express the feelings that they're revealing is they want to be open to you, that they're still in love with you and they still want this connection. Yeah, communication is coming in really quick with this person. We've got an opportunity of commitment. We also got the lovers. I can't show it to you because they're naked on here, but um, we have the lovers. So this is strong twin flame. This is strong soulmate. This is your divine counterpart. You may already be feeling the next 48 hours like the energy is picking up with you. Um, how are you going to feel about it? You may hold back. You may be a little bit hesitant. <clears throat> you may hold back, but you're still holding on to this person. Why are you holding back? Okay, so you want to make sure that this person is not going to juggle you. You want to make sure this person is willing to sacrifice and let go with whatever happened in the past or whatever they did in the past to you. You want to make sure that they've actually resolved it and let it go. Okay, well, let's get you one animal, spirit animal card of advice. What is the advice for Aries? What's the advice? The koala, which is number 46, the koala. So let's look at 46. Find moments of stillness. It's about protecting yourself, being gentle with yourself, and it's also about finding solace. So. In the moment of stillness is where the answers are lying for you. So you may need to be still before you respond. Instead of reacting instantly, allow yourself to have a moment to use your intuition to decide what it is that you want. Okay, Taurus. <clears throat> the next 48 hours, Taurus. What is the energy surrounding Taurus? The next 48 hours. You're, you're having to release something in order to receive something else. Okay, well, what are you receiving? Okay, there's travel here and compromise. Okay, so you may have to let go of something that you had expected to come to you. And the reason why is because there's a compromise needed. Could be with a friend. Maybe you decide that the schedule doesn't work and you're having to compromise. Maybe you're going um, like on a road trip, so to speak, in the next 48 hours. You're supposed to leave at a certain time and you don't want to have to get off work early in order to do that. There is a need for compromise, but if you do that, the flexibility that you bring into the situation is going to benefit you. It's going to give you more reward. Yeah, we got the seven of wands, the hermit, and the high priestess. Your intuition is going to tell you this is important. Whatever this compromise is about these travels in the next 48 hours, we got the seven of pentacles, and we've also got the chariot. It's going to be the best decision possible for you because you're going to be left behind if you don't compromise. So universe is saying... It's in your best interest to be more open and receptive. Don't be so um, rigid about the schedule if you can be flexible. Of course, if you have to leave work early to be able to go on a trip and that puts your, your position at jeopardy, then of course you don't want to do that. But there's something about there's a flexibility here of using your intuition to know that maybe to gain this experience, which is what you should do, this travel is something you should invest in. It's going to bring something else as a reward. So what, what is this reward that they're going to get if they are compromising? What is the reward here? Let's find out. Okay, so it looks like there's communication from somebody else. So if you actually compromise and go on this trip, it's actually going to trigger that somebody else that's coming um, 
to this trip also you don't know about could be somebody that maybe turned their back on you you're going to get an opportunity to clear the air with this person so that's why the universe is saying it's time it's time for you to be able to let go of whatever that past experience was so let's get one spirit animal card for taurus what's their advice what do they need to know taurus we have the elk number 24 let's see what the elk is Trust your instincts, which is your intuition. It says, having strength and endurance and renewal, using your wisdom through these trials with grace and dignity. This is a reminder to trust your intuition. Allow your intuition to illuminate your path. So make sure you use your intuition making that decision. Gemini. All right, Gemini, what's happening for you the next 48 hours? What is the energy around Gemini? If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Gemini, what's the energy around you the next 48 hours? Okay, you're going to feel the need. Your, your energy levels are going to feel like you need to pull back from something. And there is something about if you do disconnect from people the next 48 hours, Something magically is going to happen with a goal that you have been trying to pursue. It's going to actually fall in place. So there's something you've been desiring um, here in the future when it comes to your career that you haven't been able to see or been able to clearly see what the path is. And being around other people maybe is um, affecting your ability to clearly see it. And so the universe is saying the next 48 hours, in order for you to be illuminated, whatever this um, great mystery is with your career, the answers are going to come only when you're in solitude. So there's a need to maybe take your energy back from other people. Let's find out here. Yeah, we got the star. So it is being illuminated. The six of cups and the queen of wands. What's being hidden is the high priestess. Your intuition maybe has been pushing you to take the lead with this career path or journey. And you've maybe have been forcing against it. So in the next 48 hours, something nostalgic is going to happen that's going to trigger you or force you or encourage you to take a step back from everybody. Maybe even social media, taking a step back from your friends, your family, even your current position. Because there's something that is coming towards you that you're only going to be able to hear in the golden silence is what I'm hearing. Well, while you're in solitude is where you're going to get this deeper knowing about this career shift. So there's something that is um, being illuminated. Let's get one card of advice for Gemini. What's the spirit animal message for Gemini? What do they need to know? What do they need to hear that's going to serve their highest good? Okay, you got the koala also. Aries got this card. Number 46. So let's pull 46 and see what 46 is. Tens are about completion. Something must end for something new to come in. This is about finding moments of stillness. It's all about protecting yourself and being at a place of learning how to inner calm yourself and being in solace. Okay. All right, Cancer. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Cancer, the next 48 hours. What is the energy surrounding Cancer the next 48 hours? What do they need to know? You're being asked to pay attention to the red flags in the next 48 hours. There's going to be a situation where somebody is going to lie to you and you're not going to want to listen to your intuition about the perception of the truth. And the universe is saying, now is the time for you to finally detach and realize that you need to surrender to the situation with this individual, that they are a walking red flag. It is something that they are trying to pull the wool over your eyes and make you feel in disillusionment, which is not fair to you. Yep, we've got the lovers, the strength, and the king of pentacles. Hidden is the page of wands. This person's going to communicate with you something, and the universe wants you to trust that now's the time for this is the final deal that you need to realize that you need to detach. With the lovers, it's about you making the right choices and decision to perceive the truth of what it is, that what this person is saying and what they're doing, they're trying to act like one person, but they're a version of somebody else. And your intuition knows that. With the strength card, I do feel like you're having to harness in your feelings and emotions about the situation. You might kind of be playing a little head over heart type decision with yourself. But the universe is saying, be the pillar of strength and be stable with knowing confidently that you know what the truth is, that this communication coming in from this person is all lies. It's not the truth. And you need to find a, finally surrender and let this person go. All right, Cancer, let's get one spirit animal message of advice for Cancer. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear that's going to serve their highest good? 
We've got the moose, number 60. So let's look at number 60. Stay focused on your goals. It says, with your stance held high, the moose represents strength, power, and pride. It's all about being able to have a delicate balance between human and nature, reminding us the importance of coexistence. So this is you focusing on what your goals are. This person may be lying to you about something you're trying to achieve, but you know the truth of the situation. Leo, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Leo, what is the energy around you the next 48 hours? Okay, you're about to have some success after a major tornado or something that had been destroyed. Um, what is it? What goes up must come down. What is destroyed must be rebuilt. There's some type of tower moment that you go through in the next 48 hours, but you're realizing it's actually leading through success. In the end result, you're going to be successful. So let's, let's find out what this is. There's some type of change that's happening for you, Leo. Five of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, and the, there's the tower. The tower is confirming the tower. Okay, so there's some type of situation here where you try to work things out. You're trying to be successful. It could be with a career. It could be with a romantic partner or friend or family member. You try to figure your place of success within the position of whatever it is that you're dealing with the next 48 hours. And you feel neglected. You feel abandoned. You feel disappointed. You feel hurt that you've tried to work this out. Maybe you've been trying to do it for a long time. Universe is saying, accept the tower. You have destruction and tower. This is your primary. This is your clarifier. So double confirmation here that what is destroyed must be destroyed for something else new to come through. And we do have the four of cups. So this is you needing to disengage, needing to shut off the emotions of the situation and disconnecting from the circumstances. So you're going to go through a tower moment, but it's in order for something new to break free that break free that would be successful. Let's get one spirit animal of advice for Leo. What does Leo need to know? What do they need to hear for their guidance and their advice the next 48 hours? We have the alligator, number one. So let's look at the alligator. This is trusting your instincts. Yep. Connecting with your traditions. It's about bridging your primal instincts and your timeless wisdom. It's about aligning yourself and grounding yourself in the present moment and not sacrificing what's actually in your heart. Okay. Virgo, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Virgo, something big is happening the next 48 hours for you, Virgo. What is the energy around Virgo? What do they need to know? Virgo. There's a whirlwind of feelings and emotions that life is kind of forcing you forward you know you're you're being swept up in the current to keep moving when it comes to something and the universe is saying you need to keep going with it don't resist it whatever this whirlwind of emotions is that you're having it is blossoming something is changing for you and it has to happen now in order for something to bloom for you in the spring so let's clarify and see what this is for virgo what is this cycle that is needing to be embraced in the next 48 hours, staying grounded and allowing things to actually go forward. There's the tower right there. So something is shifting significantly. The moon is allowing you to realize that even though your intuition is telling you, yes, go with it, you may be still wanting to not listen to your intuition. But Six of Cups, you may be reuniting with somebody from your past in the springtime, but in order for this communication to come in the spring, there's something about you clearing some type of emotions that you have secretly been holding back on, maybe something from the past. This tower moment, you're going to have an overwhelming feeling of emotions of release in the next 48 hours. You're finally letting go of something from way back when something that is very nostalgic for you that you have a lot of emotions but it is being a whirlwind of finally you being able to release it and let it go because what you don't see with the moon is there is a secret reason why because there is potential communication that is happening in the spring from somebody else yeah, somebody that maybe potentially even hurted you look at that you've got the ten of cups a little bit ways down the road so in the spring 
if you allow the cycle to come to an end with these emotions, this whirlwind, the next 48 hours, instead of trying to hold on to it, you just allow to work through it and past it in the spring, you're going to have your halfway ever after because I feel like the month of March is going to be very significant. You're going to get whatever your emotional fulfillment is that you've been desiring. It's about to come to fruition in the month of March is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's get one card of advice. Okay, we've got the Orca Whale, which is number 65. So let's see number 65. Embrace clarity and genuine empathy. The orca has vocalizations and structures. It's intelligent and deep emotional awareness. And when communicating, it reminds us to value mutual understanding. So this is your emotions is this whirlwind the next 48 hours. You're finally realizing that you can no longer hold on to the emotions. And the universe is saying embrace letting them go of the situation so that in the spring, because what happens is things are happening below the surface you don't see now that are going to blossom and bloom in the spring. But you have to be able to release those emotions now. Libra. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Libra. Next 48 hours, what is the energy around Libra for the next 48 hours? Okay, so there is a third party situation around you that you have been trying to not let go of. You've been in this whirlwind of holding on to the situation. Somebody has been silent with you. Somebody has maybe blocked you and they went towards a third party and you're continually stuck in your head about the situation and the circumstances. And there's something about grounding your energy in the next 48 hours for you to see clearly why this third party was put between you and your person. Yeah, you definitely feel, we've got the five of pentacles, five of swords and seven of wands. You feel blocked by your person because they went towards a third party. The universe is saying, now's not a time to put yourself in this competition. You don't need to compete you are somebody of value somebody of worth and this person pushing you away you're going to realize is actually going to be a blessing in disguise this is something that you have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this person to return after this third party because you feel abandoned you feel neglected you feel left out in the cold you feel like why did this person leave me why did they put me in a third party why did they block me why did they go silent and the universe is saying don't allow yourself to stay stuck We've got the nine of cups is what's hidden at the bottom of the deck. These whirlwind of feelings and emotions that are overwhelming in the next 48 hours, you need to finally let them go. Finally be able to say, you know what? I can't control it. I have to be able to release it. And I want to find my own happiness. And if you do, you got the nine of cups. Following that, you do have the queen of cups. Following that, you do have the death card is what you don't see. And that means you're going to go through a major transformation. But this transformation cannot happen until you finally decide to stop staying stuck in the situation of this holding pen that you're putting yourself in. Maybe you feel like a victim of circumstance and you've been having like a pity party over it. Universe is saying this person being silent with you and pushing you away and putting you in third party you will later on look to see that that change was necessary for you to find the ultimate happiness that you truly deserve. All right, let's get one spirit animal message of advice. What is the advice for Libra? What do they need to know? What do they need to hear that's going to serve their highest good at this time? Libra. Okay, we got the kangaroo, number 44. So let's look at the kangaroo. It's about being supportive of others. Though it's distinctive and bound emotions, the kangaroo is about embodying a nurturing and a protective spirit. It's a symbol of strength, and it's also an invitation to foster your own environment. So this is you being able to nurture yourself, be strong for yourself, be the pillar of strength that you know to be able to work through this and work past it. Scorpio. You want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Scorpio, the next 48 hours. What's the energy surrounding Scorpio in the next 48 hours? Let's find out what's going on, Scorpio. 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 Okay, so there's something that um, the universe is going to try to connect with you in the next 48 hours. You're needing to level up. Like, it's finally time. I know you've been really fearful. You've been feeling very insecure. You've been feeling like, you know what, I, I, I am a victim of my circumstance and I'm not ready to ascend. The universe is saying, now's the time. You've been sulking in your own sorrow, maybe for far along. 
uh, for far or long enough. And it's finally time for you to be able to manifest what you want, but you cannot manifest what you want until you accept this, this 10 of swords, you accept the defeat and the ending. And when you do look what you got, you've got the star, you've got the empress and you've got the magician. It's time for you to level up. It's time for you to finally heal and recognize your value and your worth and really be able to start loving yourself again. And once you get into this empress energy, that's when you're going to be able to manifest whatever it is that you're wanting, whether it's a new job, a, a new relationship. Um, you're maybe wanting to move or relocate. Maybe you're wanting to manifest money, but you've been stuck for far too long. And the universe is saying, now's the time. It's time for you to let go of things and to send up. And look what's hidden at the bottom of the deck. We got the 10 of cups. So if you want a relationship, a relationship is ready to come towards you, but you have got to accept the defeat of what was and be able to embrace with what will be. Let go of the fear and insecurity that it's not going to happen. All right, let's get one spirit animal card of advice for Scorpio. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear for the next 48 hours? We do have the cat number 12. So let's look at the cat. Learn to rely on yourself. It says the cat is a spiritual guide. It encourages us to foster self-reliance. It's quiet and watchful nat nature. We discover the significance of turning into our own inner wisdom and allowing unseen, safine, unforeseen forces shape our lives. And that's what the universe wants to do. They want to shape your life differently, but you have to let go. Sagittarius, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Sagittarius, next 48 hours, what is the energy surrounding you, Sagittarius? Let's find out. Okay, so it looks like you have a sense of insecurity, a sense of instability right now. And you know that there's something that you've been contemplating on, but you feel secure, insecure about it. There's something that you're making, wanting to make a decision. There's maybe a different path or a journey that you're wanting to take, but you feel like you can't take it. So let's clarify here. What is this energy for Sagittarius in the next 48 hours? Got a lot of wand energy. Something from your past. I got the Six of Cups. You're in a very nostalgic energy. There's something you maybe wanted to do when you were younger. Something maybe you've always wanted to do. Something that could actually bring you a lot of sense of stability and security. But you've been telling yourself you're not good enough. You can't do it. You're not going to be successful. It's too late. I could have, should have, would have, but never will. There's something about not telling yourself that, but telling yourself, you know what? It's time to get up and go. It's time to ignite the fire and the passion within yourself. Whatever this energy is, this nostalgic memory, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a financial endeavor, it's finally ready for you to embark upon that journey. In the next 48 hours, you're going to maybe start writing down some ideas that you have. And the universe is saying it's because this is something you've wanted to do your whole life, but you've been telling yourself you can't do. So there's a need to let go of the fears and insecurities. So let's get one spirit animal message. Okay, we've got the hawk. So let's look at the hawk. It is number 37. So what is the hawk advice? Free yourself from your own limitations. This is about symbolizing the vision of freedom and being very aware of the journey that you want to be on. If you have limitations, you need to have faith of your own wisdom that you can do this. Capricorn, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Capricorn, what is the energy surrounding Capricorn the next 48 hours? Okay. You're going to be on a little bit of a self-discovery journey. There's something that's going to be very, very overwhelming. Your feelings and emotions you um, are going to have to be able to kind of go within the next 48 hours. There's something about you realizing and feeling empowered with who you are and building up that confidence of knowing that. You maybe have been somebody who doesn't have a lot of self-confidence. Yeah, the Queen of Cups in reverse. You definitely haven't been open and receptive to your feelings and emotions. We do have the Queen of Wands sitting at the bottom of the deck. You are going to go through something where you're going to discover why you felt the way you felt and you felt not worthy, not loved, not um, avail, you know, valued or whatever in the relationships maybe you've had in the past. But 
If you do discover the real reason and you start working through it, it does look like you increasing your self-worth could bring in a romantic partnership, a brand new emotional situation that you can connect with somebody. We do have the Queen of Wands. So this is being hidden from you and the Ace of Wands. It's a brand new passionate beginning, potentially with a fire sign or maybe even a water sign. So let's get one spirit animal card of advice for Capricorn. What do you need to know? What do you need to hear that's going to serve your highest good? Capricorn. We have the ant, number three. So let's take a look at the ant. It says, learn to work with others. It's a symbol of teamwork and diligence, being able to appreciate working harmoniously with other people and putting in the efforts towards discovering your own capabilities, okay? Aquarius, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Aquarius, what is the energy around you the next 48 hours? Aquarius. I'm hearing that Madonna song. We are living in a material world and I am a material girl. So there's something about you wanting to pursue something, chase something when it comes to your material wealth, but you're fearing rejection because of it in the next 48 hours. Universe is saying now's the time to let it go and let it be and let's go. Page, yep, you're getting an opportunity. Page of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, this is something that is has a lot of choices and decisions that's attached to it. Ten of Swords, you may have to leave a job or leave something. You're juggling with this. This is what you don't see. You're going to have to make a decision. Your, your decision, I think, is you feel you can't do it versus you can do it, and you're juggling with can I do it, can I not do it, and the universe is saying this is yours. You can do this. Like You have this opportunity presented to you for a particular reason. Let's get one spirit animal message of advice for Aquarius. What is the spirit animal message? The lion. Okay, number 53. Let's look at 53. Lead with integrity. It's about representing leadership, courage, and safeguarding. Feeling inspired to realize that you have the capability and being able to unleash your capability. Okay, Pisces. You want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Pisces, the next 48 hours. What is the energy around Pisces the next 48 hours? Okay, so you need to release the hold of some, something that you've been protecting for a very long time, something you've been hesitant to let go of. Universe is saying all the doubts and all the fears and anxieties you have, now is the time for you to no longer doubt it, but it's time to go. So what is this? Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Moon. Your intuition's been telling you this Tower moment is pending, that it's been pending for quite some time. Have you been fearing um, letting go of your singlehood? Because we do have underneath the moon, we have the four of wands. So there is communication coming in from somebody. Somebody maybe has been wanting to marry you. They've been wanting to, you know, um, move this up to the next level when it comes to commitment with you. And you've been fearing it. You've been putting this person on ice. You've been waiting and waiting, waiting. Universe is saying now's the time. It's okay. You've been watching yourself be single and independent for far long enough. Now's the time for allow the tower to crumble. Let what was in the past to go and be able to embrace this unknown with the moon your intuition is going to tell you that this is a sense of stability and security something that you're going to be really happy that you do finally agree to let this connection move to the next level and releasing the singlehood that you once had let's get one card of advice for pisces what is the spirit animal message that pisces needs to know what do they need to hear The cat, number 12. So this could be happening the next 48 hours, month of December is when this is being recorded. So let's look at the cat. <clears throat> Learning to rely on yourself. This is about you being spiritually guided and encouraged to foster what you know you're going to discover. Your inner wisdom is something that is going to help shape you. It's something that is going to help you. You could be very intuitive in the next 48 hours. Your intuition is heightening that now it's time for you to release the fear and go all in.